back in the Spiry Ridge site. It's Friday, 10 a.m., and this is it. We got a lot of things to get done and a little time to do it. The customer's already scheduled their moving trucks. They're planning on a day to be here, and we have to make that deadline. This one's gonna be another beautiful Northridge home in the books, so let's get to work and get this thing done. We had Sterling Concrete on site today. We're gonna do all of our exterior concrete, that pretty stuff that you save right for the end. Uh, things like our front entry, sidewalks, stoops, stair landings, etc. The concrete that we're gonna to pour today is a little bit different than the concrete we poured in the garage. In that process, we had a different concrete mix, and it was meant to be a hard, troweled, smooth, hard surface to drive your cars on. On the exterior, the customer has chosen exposed aggregate. So everything is going to get poured a different mix, which allows that aggregate to stay to the surface. And when it's all said and done, you'll see the rocks on the top and give it some pizzazz. We're laying ready mix on site today. Today, we're going to line pump all of our concrete in place for the most part. Now the difference between using a line pump and using a boom pump like we did back on the footing and foundation stage of the project is a line pump actually lays on the ground and all the steel pieces have to be joined together. There's connectors that have to literally be driven tight with a hammer. Um, and then the very end of it has a rubber hose that's flexible and that hose is managed by manpower. One of the things that has to be done there, especially if pouring on a sunny day like today, is we need to wet the ground before the concrete goes on it. We always wet the ground first so that the ground doesn't suck the moisture out of the bottom half of the concrete faster than it can evaporate out of the top half, because that'll create cracking. And we're trying to prevent that the best we can. Here comes concrete truck. So let's get this thing back up to the hopper and start pumping some mud. Now that Sterling Concrete's got all their forms ready, ground's wet, we're ready to start placing some concrete. We got guys on the hopper making sure that end's going well, pump truck's going full tilt. In this process, there's actually a hose man that moves the hose around and puts the concrete in place. Sterling's guys will get everything basically leveled out and ready for trowel. Looks like they got mud laid down in the front entry. That's all looking good, so now we're gonna move on to the sidewalk get mud placed there. So here we don't work the mud as much. One of the reasons for that is it's exposed aggregate. We don't want to push all those rocks down where we can't get that exposed look. So they'll literally take a screed board, whether that's a piece of two by four, two by six, etc., give it a screed off. They'll hit it once with a bull float and it's done. At that point it sets and waits overnight and then the next day we'll come in and spray the top and expose that aggregate. This job has a stoop um, out of the garage and a, a stair landing pad off the deck. Rather than have a pump and the time it would take to set the pump up to get the little bit of mud back we need for those, it's just not worth it. So it's one of these cases where guys gotta have a wheelbarrow and a little bit of elbow grease and off we go. As usual, Sterling Concrete and their crew came in and just did an amazing job on these sidewalks. I can see looking at it that tomorrow when they come in and pressure wash these things, they're gonna be beautiful like always. So we'll let that cure a few days and off we go to paving. Thursday, 9 a.m., we're back in the Spiral Ridge site. And today, we're gonna put in the driveway. Black Diamond Asphalt is mobilizing their paving crew today. Today, the asphalt goes down, and we'll have a driveway by the end of the day. There's still a little bit of prep work that has to be done. Draw out exactly where the driveway parameters are gonna be so that the paving machine operator knows what paves and what doesn't. And on top of that, we have to then make sure that any space that got loose or, or somebody drove a truck on here from the time that the grading crew was here till now, that that gets compacted and it's all tight and there's not going to be any issues there. We need to go to places like the end of the sidewalk and protect that with a little barrier, some paper, 
uh, some tape. We need to blow all the dirt off of it so that we can put asphalt emulsion on there, and basically, which is a sealer from the new asphalt to the old asphalt. If you don't put a sealer in it, that cold joint will leak water in it, heave your driveway, and it'll be broke up in a year. So we're trying to seal that joint where the old and the new meet and make sure it's basically glue for asphalt. Bring in the dust. Paving machines being delivered on site. This is one of those machines that, that does so many things. It's big, loud, a lot of smell. It gets hotter than hot. This thing is big enough. It will hold a dump truck load of asphalt in one load, and it can determine the depth of the asphalt, the width of the asphalt, how fast it's going to lay down. This is a sophisticated machine. It's just awesome to watch him play. Our particular paver is a Weiler P385B, which we really like. It's been a good machine for us, and we have actually a couple of those. The goal with paving is to keep everything hot. There's two parts to the asphalt paving machine. There's a tractor, which is the part with the tracks and the hopper, and the mix goes into the hopper. There's flights, which are like metal bars that carry the mix to the back of the machine. And at the back, then there's a set of augers that pushes the material out. And then the second part is the screed that gets towed by the tractor. Based on what we do for adjustment, the screed determines the depth of asphalt, the slope, like where the water's going to go, and how wide we can go with it. The problem with asphalt is similar to concrete in that once it sets, you can't redo it. So we got about 10 minutes to get it right to make sure that the water's going where we want because once it sets up, the only way to fix it is to remove it. Now that the paving's in place, asphalt trucks have rolled away, pavers being loaded and ready to haul off to the next job site, now it's time to compact this driveway. And there's kind of two processes here. So we, they get out small compactors and they'll do along the edge of the front of the garage and any tight spaces, edges of sidewalks, because they can't roll the big roller on top. If you roll it out on the sidewalk, it's going to be broken. So you got to take care of all them little edge work first, get that all compacted tight, then the roller will come in. And when he finishes that up, it'll be as hard as concrete. As always, Black Diamond came in and just did an absolutely stellar job in this driveway. It looks perfect, just flat as can be, no seams. You can tell looking at it, the water's going to flow well. Just another beautiful product from Black Diamond. Now that the driveway's complete, we've got a whole list of punch list items that we've got to get after. Get those knocked out because clients are on the way. But that's a story for next time.